governance and organisation support for transition. Now this, this is the paper that has um, caused a bit of grief and part of it has been caused by my um, mistake in terms of the um, in terms of uh, the development authority. So if you look at the way that it's been reworked, um, and there was never any intention that this governance group be delegated authority to make decisions in relation to establishing the DA. But what we wanted was a smaller group that was able to meet um, regularly uh, to progress the framework for a development authority subject to statutory decision making requirements, the final decision to rest with the council. So it was never intended that, that this group would be making any decisions on the development authority other than to progress the framework and, and perhaps even bring a recommendation back to council if, if necessary. So um, the uh, transition um, governance committee um, was uh, in relation to um, the need to make um, decisions ar around the detail and it's a little bit like the insurance subcommittee um, that has been established, that has been delegated authority to make a decision on accepting a, um, a global settlement, which they did do in relation to EQC, for example. Um, and having that delegated authority means that um, it, can, it, it can work you know, directly, quickly um, and easily um, with the, well, in, in this case, the Crown, um, it may well be that uh, arising out of a number of the issues that we want to address um, that, that um, we will want to get into a position where we can make decisions um, relatively quickly. The timeline for this is, is quite short, but at the same time there's all of this transition work going on as well. So the idea is, is, to, is to make sure that we're as well prepared to um, advance things as we possibly can be as quickly as possible. Um, anyway, so that's the, that's the basis for it and the idea is to have all of the chairs of the committees um, plus the Mayor, Deputy Mayor and um, Finance Spokesperson on board for that. Phil. Well, look, I'm a supporter of the overall concept actually but I am concerned as I indicated earlier about the processes. I just think this is too, too quick. Um, we didn't receive this report till very late yesterday, and this is a major part of what we're doing. We've had quite a lot of background information about the DA, and, and I'm certainly drawn towards it. But I just think an example being that tomorrow we have the workshop tomorrow around it, and we're make, making decisions on it today. No, we're not. Well, we're making, we're making decisions on the, around the, um, the governance committee, in effect. No, no, it's just, all, the, all is, if you look at what's on the board, up, up above, yep. progress the framework for a development authority subject to statutory decision making requirements, the final decision to rest with the council. So we're not, all we're doing is just saying that there's a smaller group that can meet, look I don't even care, take it out, um, take out 7.1.5 if that's the issue. But the idea was that we'd have a smaller group of people that could meet and receive a, you know, information give a steer to the group, but I mean we can do that informally, you don't need to set up a... a well, I hadn't seen 7.1.5 for example, yes, and I I'm know aware that the earlier one had been the, around the establishment of... That's what I just said at the beginning, yeah. that we had made a mistake, you know, I, I mistakes do happen, I, it was my mistake, and the reason I made the mistake was that it, the, with the draft paper that I saw it, I didn't realise that it was the delegated authority to make deci decisions in relation to establishing the authority, the authority. I simply meant to receive progress reports so that it could be nimble, it could be quick, it could report back to us, but I never intended the governance group to have a decision-making role in that regard. Yeah, thank you. For the sake of group dynamics, I'm picking up that everyone wants to be involved. I'm not. But it's not a decision-making role. I just, yeah. Look, okay. I mean, well, yeah. That's fine. Look, just take it out. Take out seven point one point five. I can do it anyway. I propose perhaps we uh, move an amendment to um, 
the smaller panel and anyone else who is able to attend so that uh, other councillors who have an interest are able to actually attend and represent. I support that. I just, I think just from a, a, uh, a governance perspective, you know, a lot of us sort of sometimes feel excluded from some of these groups that get together and, and, and tend to uh, quite large items. Uh, and um, I'll point to the insurance uh, group that meets together. I've never seen any information come out of that group. Uh, I've never seen any information that's come out of the ELT group that meets together. So, you know, some of the stuff that some of us would like to be involved in, um, I'd just like the opportunity that if there is a possibility that we could just uh, make that amendment and for other people that do want to attend, have that ability that they are able to come along and actually attend. That, Paul, and I, I, I feel that it seems to be coming down to the same people all the time being on these things, which is fine, I'm not questioning anyone's ability, but I agree with Paul, there's some people feeling a little bit not quite as connected as they could be, so I'd like to see it open to everybody as well. Jimmy? And also, I'm concerned that if this, what's the difference between the, uh, you know, the trans new transition governance committee and the current uh, existing the, uh, f the strategy and the finance committee. If, if um, we you review all those items, looks like all in relation to future uh, plan, the uh, strategy or finance, the issue, etc. whether we have overlap this committee. This yeah, that's true, that's concern. true. If the, if the strategy and finance committee yeah, probably can play the, was, this kind of, was of only role. made up yes. of the chairs of the other committees, which is was my desire, yeah. then that, that would make sense, but it doesn't. I wanted to have the chairs of the three committees, the mayor, the deputy mayor, and the finance spokesperson operating across the organisation from a governance perspective. But I'm hearing that that's not what people want. So there's no point setting one up. So I just think that we should defer this item. Can I just say, I'm not arguing against setting one up. I'm arguing about the process, and today is an example to me of getting the process right. And people will need time to, um, I think, consider all of those points, and, and then we could vote on it. It might be perhaps that we can consider it later today, but I don't feel that we've had sufficient time. All right. Yeah. Sorry, can I just... Wait, wait, Carly. Yeah, I know, um, just from a management perspective, this is a, um, a huge piece of work. It'll be a big focus for the organisation over the next six months at least and probably longer. Um, and that we'll be setting up a transition team to actually focus on some of the work. It will require a lot of analysis, but um, what we require of governance will be the ability to get quite quick uh, um, direction um, and to make sure that we're presenting um, the um, Council Inc, Christchurch City Council Inc view. Um, and so we need a mechanism to do that. And uh, whether it's the whole council or a subgroup of the council, it, it's really imperative uh, that we have that ability to be able to get some decisions or direction quite quickly um, without wanting to exclude anyone. It's just to make sure that, uh, that that's able to happen. Um, and also the, um, the mayor will be attending um, fortnightly half-day meetings uh, where she's going to need to have um, some direction and advice uh, to be able to present um, the view of the council as well. So that, that's contributing to, I guess, some of our um, uh, and need to make sure that we have that good uh, direction and advice, yeah. uh, one way or other. I'm actually going to um, uh, call a lunch adjournment and we'll deal with this after lunch. So, because I, mean, I think the next item on the agenda is the resolution to exclude the public. So. I, um, sorry? Cycleways. Cycleways. So is Jane back yet? No, she isn't. So, well, we're going to, we'll have to deal with cycleways after lunch anyway. So, so I'll adjourn now. So, um, why don't we, why don't we come back, maybe at half past one, and maybe we could have an informal get together at one o'clock upstairs. Is that all right? Okay. All right, so I'll join the meeting until um, half past one.